what is going on so today i'm gonna try to finish uh digging out these holes for the car lift we we're supposed to get metal plates so we can uh put the bolts through and cement uh cement the plate in so the bolts will come up through the cement but b and is closed today so we probably won't be able to do that but finish taking out the cement here and dig out all that fucking dirt got most of it out so I think most of it's just dirt we gotta dig out now and uh we need to move this I think we're gonna we'll obviously cut off the power cut it and I think we're gonna do a 90 I think that's all I'm gonna have for today so I'm gonna start working on this try to finish this hopefully before it gets way too freaking hot actually you know what I should do is turn on the freaking cooler it's already like 90 and it's only 10 a.m. Turn on the cooler. Turn on the switch. And she's on. I want to get a port cool really bad. But I'll get back to you guys uh, when I get one of these dug out, hopefully. Most of that shit dug out now. So now I'm just gonna cut the rebar that's out of here. Um, make sure you always wear safety. I don't have the best attire on, but I got these welding sleeves I'm gonna put on. Yeah, always be safe. I watched a video yesterday. It was on Instagram. Some guy freaking he just got his hand sliced open from a, a cutting wheel. Fuck that. I saw what that looked like. I do not want that. And I don't have a clear face mask, but it'll work. Just remember, always use the right safety equipment. Don't sleep on it. That was easy. Uh, I got this side dug already, dug down. And I got this other side dug. Got this other side dug out too. So now we just need to, we gotta cut this conduit and uh, throw a 90 in here. And we're probably gonna, I'm gonna trench this a little bit so we can tuck it under here so you don't ever see it. So we're gonna cut this now, tuck it under here and we'll be good. Just need to go get a 90. And I'm still waiting for my dad. He's asleep. I actually need to check. I got him pretty close. I got about a foot on each side. Let's see. Use a square right here. Just kind of get an idea. I'm gonna level this out. Kind of. Yeah, just a little tip. I mean, if you guys didn't know, you're trying to measure this and you're trying to see how even it is over here. Just lay a square down or something. Let me get an idea. It's about 13 inches. Pretty damn close, close enough for me. Let's check this side. This is about 12. So about an inch off. Not too bad. Oh no, he's awake. You're awake. Huh? You're awake. You're awake. Slept till like fucking 10 a.m. <laughs> You're out drinking. Three days. Working till 10 o'clock at night. Friday you got up early. Don't lie to me. <laughs> and then you went drinking. I got these dug out. Cut off power to the shop. And just night that moving around. So then we get four probably next week. Or tomorrow. 
Uh, we gotta get I need to go get a plate. We got a plate we cut out there. Do we? Oh, we need to get bolts then. Yeah, we go get a Home Depot. So go get bolts. Or budget bolt, one of the two. Like I was saying, I think the hardest part is gonna be getting them like perfect so everything's square. If we do the first one. I mean, we have our we have reference points right here. Yeah. Like that we wrote down. But it's gonna be a little hard to get them lined up and leveled. But we also can but. measure off the. Um, once that's in, we can measure off the bolt pattern across because we have the um, diagram of the. Lift. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 